Tell me when. I'm ready when you are. Okay. All right, good morning. Uh, we're Plant the Lights. We're propagating ferns from spore right now. Uh, we collected this as Dryopteris kinkiensis from the garden. Um, it has basically dehissed all of its spore here. And now what you're seeing is remnants of spore and a mixture of chaff. Basically, that is all the sori tabs that have separated from the fern. But you can see the difference between the two here. Um, what we're going to do now is basically try and eliminate all the chaff from the spore and then get it as pure as possible. And it takes quite a while. There we go. This process could actually take sometimes up to a half an hour or more. Um, we also have screens that we run them through, but they can be a little bit more difficult to um, clean in between ferns um, without taking a huge cleaning process to ensure that you don't leave any spore behind on your screens for the next fern. Um, if you start getting sloppy with the cleaning, uh, you'll start getting contaminants throughout your pots. But here you can see I'm going to be dumping its uh, spore and chaff together. It's sort of inevitable when you have this much. Um, this, this amount of spore here is very rarely seen uh, when you're cleaning spores. Typically you have a smaller section that might be from 30 to 40 different fronds that just barely give you anything. But this particular plant seems to be very fertile and gives us a lot to play with. All right, so you can see I'm getting down into like the darker runs here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this back and see if I can clean it up a little bit more. I'd like to try and remove 100% of that so then we don't end up with any sort of um, molding issues and rot once the gametophyte starts to develop in the fern pot. Then like I said, this is a process that can go on and on and on. Well, what I should do with this much spore here is actually take this down to another level and then maybe come back and screen. Like I said, this is enough spore here to probably make upwards of like 30 or 40 of these orange seed pots where um, I would, for an area of like, say for just these four pots, I would probably just use this a little bit right through here. And the, the secret there is just not to over sow to keep the, uh, the pots from being susceptible to rot and that sort of stuff. It's like a happy medium of having enough to cover, uh, but at the same time not having enough where it kind of impedes growing. All right, here we go again. Fun. You have to find that sweet spot on the paper to make the, the chaff kind of dance and separate. And, and don't be afraid to dump spore. When you have this much, you just got to go for it. And you have plenty to get rid of. Just kind of bounce it around. My, I may do is pull it all back together. See if I can get the spore just to sort of slide under and try and puddle all that chaff on top to see if I can get it to kind of come back. When there's less sports, it's really easy. You can just simply hold your paper almost completely vertical. And the spore, as you see, will kind of hang on up at the top here. It 
when you have a finer amount and it doesn't bring each other down, uh, you can kind of dump all that chaff really easily. But it's just kind of a dance. You just kind of move that paper around and get to the point where you're going to dump some heavy amounts of chaff out of there. And you can kind of see how it kind of moves out. It's kind of dumping some spore there, but I'm not really afraid to lose it when I have this much to play with. We'll sow what we want and need for the season. And then the other remaining spore that's left, once we get it cleaned up, will actually get donated for plant exchanges and stuff with like the Hardy Fern Foundation and stuff like that. So it goes back out there. We we'll kind of share these unique clones that we've collected from outside plant enthusiasts or wild collected species, that sort of stuff. So we try and get it all these unique phenotypes that we've selected for out to the public. Almost there. I'm gonna dump a good chunk here. We should be just about done. Probably two more runs here. Now you can kind of see how much I've already dumped out of there. We're slowly getting clean here. Like I said, if I had a he, uh, one of our ultra fine screens, this can go pretty fast. A lot of times the chaff is pretty close to the size of the spore. It's just a matter of how dense it is and how much it floats. But just want a nice soft touch here. Get all of this separation down. Once you get it to about that clean, and you see just that little bit of chaff left there, um, you're, you're pretty good with that amount right there of clean. It's only when you have huge dumps of chaff like that, that uh, potentially can ruin your pods. All right, so what I'm gonna do here now is I'm gonna carefully bring this back together. And I'm gonna create kind of a nice little area to sew off of. All right. What I like to do here is I've got some tools that I use. Um, we will print our normal nursery tags, but in the meantime, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just write the label of these so I get all my numbers. One, two properly label them so you know what you have and what we're going to do now this is the, the fun part is actually sewing the spore to the point where we uh, don't over sew um, these are all uh, sewn in a seed sewing germination mix. Um, this particular one is, um, I've used Vapor Superfine Germinating. This happens to be Jolly Gardener's uh, germinating mix. Um, we will put um, that soil in these pots, water them in really, really well, and then we microwave them in the bags open. So we get the temperatures up to 180 degrees sustained for 20 minutes. Once that is uh, achieved, we take them out, seal the bags up out of the microwave, and then we instantly put them in the freezer to suspend them from growing any algae or any other pathogens that might exist that may have gotten through the, uh, the microwaving and sterilizing process. Um, the other thing I like about having a little bit of ice on there is you'll soon see that when we sew, we can actually see where we have sewn and the spore placement. You have to be very, 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 very careful here because as you see, this stuff is going to just spread. And I still have a little bit of garbage there that's popping out. I'm gonna make sure I get that out all the way. Don't want any of that. You can see that, that chaff is still kind of coming down there. Let me get that out. Once I get to a 
point here. Look at that chaff just kind of separates super fast. All right, here we go. I'm gonna bring this in. And you'll be able to see on the ice just this fine coat of sport blown. Oh gosh, that's a lot of spore. <laughs> so you just want a nice light coat, something like that. And we're gonna label it up. And we're gonna do the same thing to the next one. This whole process, you have to be extremely clean you're constantly wiping down the, your work areas. And I never, I only sew um, one species in a room a day and then move on because this spore, as you can see, is going to be all over this room probably for at least a day or so. Um, and we'll wipe down our, our workspace really well with a uh, moist towel. And we wash our hands very, very thoroughly. Um, wipe down all our utensils and what I'm going to do here is these are labeled I also use these uh, <laughs> these patent tag holders that don't really fit in our, in our pots if I build a little crutch here and just put that back in the bag seal it up and that's ready to go and we'll start noticing gametophyte developing on these pots probably within the next two to three weeks. Um, at that point in time, we'll start sexing them, uh, which basically is just misting the bottles, uh, misting the pots thoroughly and keeping them pretty uh, hydrated. And we'll do that and repeat every, say, two weeks or so until we start getting to the point where they're actually developing um, decent sized fronds and plantlets and then we'll go through and divide those pots up and place them in our 48 or 72 count cell packs and grow them off for you guys. All right, thanks for sharing with us. We'll see you next time.